Hello, everybody. I'm here with Atokata Miyazamoko Avocado. You had, to, you had to make the avocado joke, didn't you? I did. <laughs> what is that? Am I not original? No, no. <sighs> That's so unfortunate. How many but people tell you avocado in your lifetime? Uh, at least five. Oh my god, I'm number five? Yes. Yo, get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to hear this shit. Get out. We're, we're off to a great start, you and me. Two minutes in. Uh, two minutes in and you fucked it up. <laughs> Your good thing we're trapped on a spaceship in Dungeon of the Endless. Oh, what a good transition to the title of the game. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, if anyone oh, yes. is wondering what we're playing right now, it's Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, we do play a lot of obscure games on my channel, and you're probably wondering what this one is. Well, in fact, it might be the hardest for me to explain. So I brought on Avocado Fuzzy Monster to help me in this quest of knowledge. Well, I know as much as to complete the game on too easy. That's about okay, it, but well, that's enough. That's good enough for me, because I actually have never completed the game ever. And this it might have to do with the game crashing a few times. Not my fault, totally, totally unaware of the issues. So you have the nuclear throne luck that, like I do, where it just crashes yeah. for no reason. I'm RNG, like, heavy. There's a reason. All right, so we're going to jump into this real quick. We're going to pick two... That's how we do it, right? We're going to pick two of our own uh You pick one each. Here. One each. Yeah. And they all have their own special abilities, and uh, they level up throughout the play and gain, uh, what, more actives and such? More actives, more stats. All right. These will run uh, the I don't know how any of these people really play. I'm going to maybe go with Scroig. Do you... Uh... You concur with that? Uh, Skroig is a very strong character. He actually has a I skill. Like Skroig. He actually has a skill that can make all the enemies attack each other. Oh, okay. I like that. And you're gonna play as what'd you say, an operative? Crayang. They, yeah, she gets an operate skill pretty early on. Okay. Do I have Crayang? Oh, I do. I do. Somewhere. I remember. I remember there being a Crayola Crayan in here somewhere. Did you pick your hero yet? Yeah, I picked it. Oh, I need it ready, don't I? There we go. There you go. All right, we're ready to go. It's been a while. I'm rusty so, like this bucket we're in. I know. All right, we're, we're ready to go. All right, it's loading. So the concept of Dungeon the Endless is what? We're, uh, we're prisoners on a spaceship that crash lands on a random planet, and we end up in a cave where we it have to travel through It depends on who you play as. The Butcher okay. is a criminal. Sana is a bounty hunter who's hunting the Butcher. There's also, uh, your character is actually a native to the planet. And my character is what's called a Drekon. Oh, I'm a native? Yeah. What am I doing in your ship then? I don't know. Oh, I didn't know I was a native to this planet. I should know everything then. We should switch roles. <laughs> you look like a hologram. All right. So step number one, we got to leave our ship. And we end up in this one room where it lights up to do... What do we have here? Actually, uh, I, I left the room. If you miss middle click, it lights up the room. Okay, but we use dust to power, correct? Yes. Okay, so we have our room, which is our base of operations. So our main goal is to find the exit, right? And bring uh, this crystal, the power crystal, to that exit to the next floor. And that so is, on and so forth. That is correct. Okay. Now, the first thing you want to build as soon as possible in a floor is food. Yes. Okay, so our first module is going to be food. Because food now, this... is levels and healing. Okay, yes. That, that, so it's, it has a dual purpose. Very crucial. Like, I could level up right now, and I probably could do it safely, but I'm not going to in case I need to heal for some. in case we get, like, a really bad spawn. Yeah, don't be a jerkwad with eating all my food. We, do we share? No, it's uh, split resources. Uh, the only thing that's shared is dust. Okay, so dust is shared. Matter of fact, if you click on the four the icon with the four people on it that's how you trade resources to another player all right i don't oh i see it now all right cool i didn't know you could trade I, that would have been so good oh, to play you, against nerd you used to not be able to oh so that is new that's sad. Yeah, that was like a recent update with the thing so this module can be destroyed yes and uh we can place mini modules yes all right so here comes the monsters so we're just gonna stay in this open room do we uh, do they deal more damage in an unlit room? No, but okay, we just they. Them. If you uh, say like we're out of dust, we obviously aren't right now. But like, if you like open up a door, and you know what? It'll probably be better if we get to that situation. But 
Right now he's in the power. How do I light them myself? You can middle click and it'll uh, unpower and depower rooms. Got it. But thank the, you. But they have to be connected. Yes. All so right. like if I did here. Okay, right, right, I'm just gonna keep here. going. Okay. I'm I'm a crazy battle hardened veteran. I'm gonna stab all these people in the face. I do a lot of damage, man. Now like I like say if you if you like for real quick, if we depower the first room, watch what happens. Beep. Everything yep, else yep, goes yep. down? Okay. Yep. So, the the benefit of powering a room is we can power our modules and monsters do not spawn there, correct? Any other benefits that, that is, I'm missing? No, that's that's it. That's the benefits. Oh, I love now, the lighting effects in this game, man. My th so, my strategy, right, throughout playing is to go in a straight line as long as possible. Do you, do you concur with this as well? Uh, that can work. You basically just pick one direction and just go with it, pretty much. Alright, yeah. I like to go in one direction. It, it minimizes the offshoots where enemies come, uh, oh. you know, can come off a ramp and attack the crystal and all your modules. So this is a, is this a science or? It's a research science, yes. Alright. We can only, I can only get neuro stun module. I don't know if you think that's we have the, We have the same, we have the same, uh, items. The food replicator 2 is a good, but we aren't going to get enough to uh, get, get it on this floor. But the Neurostun <laughs> module is very good to have because it slows down the speed, which also atta affects attack speed of creatures. Alright. So that would be um, a good thing to grab. Should we be mid-maxing and putting down uh, more modules, like a food module here and a science module? Well, no. I don't really go science you, ever. You only want to have a food mo one module of each type unless you have an excess. Like, we actually should lay down, uh, what's your current resource pool at for, uh, industry? 42. You should probably lay a, uh, industry? Yeah, industry generator in, uh, one of those other nodes. Alright, dude, that's what I was thinking. I want to min-max that, because every time we open a door, it counts as a turn. Yes. Alright, good to know. Thanks. So every turn, we'll now get plus six industry, and plus five food, thanks to those modules. And only plus two science because we don't have a module down. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop and grab this neuro stun because that's actually a very good item even late okay. game. Okay, yeah, go for it. Uh, just, just let me know what you're I'm grabbing. I'm also going to level up my character once. Should I do that? I should do that as well, right? Uh, if you have food enough to heal afterwards. Yeah, I mean it's only 15 to level up for this next, uh, the next level, and I have 32 plus five every round, so. All right, so I'll do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Level two. I, I always think it's a very good idea to get your characters leveled up as fast as possible. All right, let's keep going. It's probably a little slow for everyone watching. It's already been ten minutes. Well, yeah, Holy this is cow. a this is a slow paced game, so. Well, All too bad. Right. We gotta speed it up here for the now, enjoyment of the internet. Here's the situation I was referring to. Or I was okay. Getting into. Now you're gonna go on ahead, and I'm gonna stay in this room. If you have a controlled character in a room, monsters yes. will not spawn inside of it. Okay, yes, that is also something I was aware of. Hey, it's a dead end, I think. Monsters. Right, and we got some dust. I'll, I'll kill these guys real quick. Well, you have the, the, the speed and the skill. Yeah. So okay. the min-max is for real dealy in this game. I love it. I, I love strategies. I do. It's it's just uh, cumbersome to get into to begin with. Should we throw down another module here? Uh, Since we... it's a dead end? Uh, not think we're really. Reaching the end soon enough, and it's the, fir not gonna... the first floor, you only really want to pop two modules, and you only want to do a science if you get a longer floor. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to the left here. You stay there. All right, we got the neuro stun module unlocked, and I got a toothpick. Oh yeah, that's can I, actually uh... perfect for you. Yeah, let's let's see if I can equip this toothpick here. Actually, I use spears I, as well, but I will be I staying stationary long. for the most part. Mm, I don't know if it was a good idea to use two characters that use spears. That's fine. It really doesn't matter. Toothpick. I love the names of the items in this game. They're all mishmashed items you could have gotten from a wreckage. Do not want to meet the beast whose teeth this picked. I love it. Equipped. All right, so I'm looking at our new researches. We have... Yeah, it's not... The only one that's really worth grabbing is the food replicator too that popped back up again. And that's I like the food replicator for, 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 40, for 46 uh, science. Eh, we might not make it in time. Maybe if we wanted it, we should have thrown down a science. Nah, Unless we get a fine. nice uh, 
you know, like a science right, module. Me. Get back in this room. Yeah, sorry about that. Dead end and uh, plus eight dust. And we found, uh, I the believe, exit. the exit here. Yes. Nice. So do you... Uh, is it generally, games, it's generally you... a good idea to explore all the number, all the fours you, doors you can. Okay. Oop, let me watch oh man, a dead oh. guy. I wonder whose body this was. He's wearing a fabulous pink drapery. I'm getting a little bit of a nibble on. Oh shit, oh shit, I, I was, uh, you know, conversing with Lady Death over here. Okay, converse to the middle room. Okay, do we need, uh... Do we need help? You no, seem to be a little we, low we, on we, health we, there, we, sir. Yeah, we need Holy to... cow! Yeah. Does my special also work on you? Uh, what does yours do? It's the bowl of soup. Oh, last uh, last dinner, last, last dinner. Yeah. yeah, all that. I think that's a uh, heroes in room skill. Yep, dude. I uh, I helped you out, and man, with just a, a wink of knowledge. And don't be afraid to pop that when every. Oh, that's a death deal. Is this the card guy? Should... We're just gonna ignore this for now. I don't want to deal. You don't want to deal with death. Nah, man, the last we just started. Yo, how amazing would this run be if we're like, let's converge in the, the middle room. Converge in the middle room. All right. Yeah, yeah. To the to the Thunderdome. Should we even put? Uh, you know, it's not that necessary, but maybe uh, putting down a couple of mini modules here would have helped. Oh, that breeze is cold. Yep, that's helping us though. Oh, is it? Yep, that's my skill. Oh, that's your skill. Yep, it slows everything down. Gonna give myself a little here. Here, I don't want to waste too much food. All right. Every now time we'll... you heal yourself, that's a uh, less opportunity to level up, right? Correct. All right. So we're all we're all set with rooms. I think we hit our last dead end. Yes. All right. We're oh, gonna... Not that. Uh... Who's our Who's our fastest character now? That's Who's what I'm saying. Uh, hold on. I'm giving us as much leeway to move as possible. All right. There we go. Uh, what is your character's speed? My character's speed is 36. You are faster then. All right, which is an arbitrary number to me at this moment. All right, if I if I push you and then you, okay, yeah, sweet. All right, because real quick, whenever you do like, you want to pick your highest speed character because the crystal knocks your speed down by a percentage. Yes, that is uh, also something I know. All right. Well, it's helpful for the viewers to see. No, no. I, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, no, not to knock what you're saying. Just yeah. let me know. All right, so here's the, the stressful part. Not not on this world, but uh, when you, I'm gonna get knocked around here. You might want to help me out. Or something. I can't do too much to help you because they're gonna no. go for you anyway. You have the crystal. All right. All right, go go, just go. All right, I'm in the crystal uh, room, so just pop it whenever you're yeah. in. As soon as you grab the crystal, enemies spawn from every room that has not been lit up. Correct. Right, I mean, exit room. Exit room. Good. And it gets terrifying later on when you don't have enough dust to light up every room. Mostly, like, maybe a couple rooms. And the rest of the level is dark and you have high-powered enemies coming at you. We really are going to have to get more recruits soon. Well, first they have to show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Also, we have to get lucky to get, you know, someone that's actually good. Because we don't want the crazy possessed chick. Oh, uh, why not? I love the crazy possess uh, possessed chick. Because you have twenty percent less defense. Oh, in the same room as her. Okay, yeah. got it. Everyone knows I like crazy possessed chicks. It's a weakness of mine. All right, you pick the next door. Okay, sir. Oh yes. All right. Let's. Oh, let's see what we get from this chest. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Sorry for that pause. I just thought I would, did not push record and push stream. I was uh, momentarily terrified. Oh, I was lopping up, plopping down a, uh, a food node here. Okay, good to know. So did and I ever that... tell you the story? Alrighty, now I get to sit here and do nothing while you explore. Oh, no, that's not fair. We, ha Yo, should we power this room right here in between these two? Uh, yeah, definitely power Pop that. Pop down some nodes. I'll pop down an industry. Yeah, do that. All right, it's a dead end, I believe, so we could plop down another. Uh, well, we got two more side or... doors. No, no, right here, right here. Oh, the extra, yeah. Uh, we can put a science there. Yeah, I don't really go science too much, but yeah, might as well. I like to really hammer home the food. Like, have two or three modules of food, and 
in a floor. Yeah. So, by you standing there, what are you doing? Well, now we are getting extra food because I'm operating this node. Oh, that's so good. What is that, uh, crystal? Right, let's, uh, heroes on floor, defense times zero. Heroes on floor, speed plus 30%. Heroes in floor, the heroes in a room without monsters give an attack power bonus to offense modules. Base on wit. Oh, so that's good for me. Yeah, estimated remaining turns five. So does that mean our defense goes down to zero, or it yes. just doesn't affect our offense at all? No. All right, so we're weakened thanks yep. to this goddamn thing. Perfect. Oh, shit! These guys are huge! Fall back to the middle room. Oh, yeah, man. Holy cow. I don't think I've seen a crystally dude like that on the second level. Did we... We picked too easy, right? Yeah. It's completely random. You, there's a chance of getting those. All right. Good to know. Another dead end, by the way. Well, that's great. I know, right? We're gonna get ourselves wrecked. Oh, Crystal Man. Uh, so we have different enemy types here. The crystals bypass everything and go straight for our giant crystal, right? Yes. Okay, our power node. Yep. Hey, power. we got another science. What's in it? Oh, we can get our food replicator too. Yeah, get that. There's also a suppressive fire bot, smoke nope. gun, and a hollow hero. Nope. The so food food, food rep. Oh, smoking absolutely. gun. Smoking gun is bad because it hurts heroes and uh, enemies. Oh, that's. Why would we ever pick that, man? Hey, finally a customer, man. Let's see here. Uh, all right. So, randomly we can get this merchant with this cute little puppy. The puppy is what sold me on this game. Now, by the way. funny thing that not many people know, that dog is a playable character. Is he? Yes, but you have to pick random and you have to get him on a random chance. Oh my god. Does he have terrible stats or is it good? He has really low stats all around, but he has like uh, a few like he has like some of uh scoring skills like red plume and stuff. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, no, this dog, you, have you seen the adverts with the dog in it? Uh, I don't know if I have or not. No, there's uh, there's one with him being all silly. It sold me on the game. So we have a prison uniform, a photon decelerator, which I don't think we can use. Now, the real question uh, is, what's he buying for? Oh, uh, food. Okay. There's a toothpick for 18 food, though, that you can take. Uh, sure, I'll give you the food for that. Buy it for me and just put it in the uh, shared inventory. Okay. Okay, I don't know how this works. Whoops, I don't want to give a hero. Shit. Did I just give you to... I gave myself to you. Give me back. Wait, what did you do? Oh, god damn it. I, I gave my... Okay, good. Uh, Yo, I don't know how this works. This is just a bunch of random numbers. Go to, you have to go to the backpack and move it to the uh, shared inventory. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do that. What, the backpack? I know how to do the backpack, but I don't know how to do shared inventory you, from, you from do, the backpack. You uh, drag it down. I don't yeah, see it's it. Not, it's not dragging down. At all. That's weird. I did buy it. Give one industry. No, I don't want to give any science. Uh, kick this player from the game? No. Please just let me uh, share this toothpick with my friend. <laughs> that seems uh, a health hazard in some way, but I want to do it. Maybe I have to be in the same room? Shouldn't have to be. Hmm. You just move it from the backpack to the uh, bottom, big space inventory. So from the top to yeah. the bottom. Not moving whatsoever. Try moving your other one. Okay, the one that's equipped to me? Yeah. Yeah, nothing goes down. I can't even right-click on it. I hear you equipping and moving things. Yeah, that's that's equipping to myself. Oh, I don't want to do that. All right, let's move on from this, I guess. Well, I'll try next floor. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's bugged out. 
That's weird. I, I don't know why I can't bring anything to the backpack. You don't, like, you, from the... From the mean, backpack to the inventory. Oh. Strange Arena. Alright, so I'm going to continue on this path then. Oh, man. I didn't notice that door up above our power node. So we could possibly be in the completely wrong direction. We hey, are. there's another science, by the way. Uh, what's in it? Uh, industry generator 2 for 46. Uh, dust field for 17. Kip cannon for 29. And tear gas for 20. Tear gas is the best of those options. Really? Alright, well, we might be able to get it. Yeah, we're we're on the wrong side of the f the map, man. I don't like that. Did you did you not get the uh, tear gas? Uh, we have to wait. I I have more signs I can give you. Oh really? You can give me junk, huh? Yes. Oh look at that, dude. Is that enough? Yeah, actually, it's perfect. All right, so we're getting the so applies a damage of four per second to monsters in the same room. And lowers their defense. Yeah, ooh. Alright, so we got it. We're good. Should we uh should we set up any mini modules here? I got mini modules in this choke point. Okay. How about setting up another food generator in this uh, I'm gonna set I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set I'm gonna set one up uh, on the top end so I can operate it. Okay, so you wanna just be closer? Got it. Yeah. Well, lucky you, we got a spot right here. And the food replicator too. So does everything become a food? Re yes, it does. Okay, good to know. We got monsters, man. Don't worry about it. Our mini modules will take care of it. They should. Look at them bounce up and down. They're so adorable. Too bad I gotta kill you. Yeah, I have like four guns in there and the neuro stun. So let's see what the next. I love the tower defense uh, aspect of this game as well. Holy cow! All right. Hey, prepared for this shit. <laughs> Yeah, we got some monsters on the other end, but they're not that big of a deal. We got one floaty crystal, though, so. You just stay there, and I'll, yep. I'll go fight these guys. I'm going to pop a stun and a prison prod in here. A prison prod? That's what these little guns are. Yeah, they just, uh, they sound, they remind me of, like, prawns. And these are these are actually like the best guns in the game when you upgrade them, because they their attack speed is ridiculous. Yeah, the, so they're the best guns. How how high can you upgrade them to like level uh, three? Or do they three, go I think. Five? I think three is the high. No, actually, no. I think I think I think everything goes everything goes up to five because there's an achievement for upgrading everything. Holy cow! I don't even know how you do something like that. Have you ever had a full bar of dust? Never. Never? They, never. Give, they give you a lot of spots, man. I've never had that much dust. Hey, well, oh, dude. All right, so we got Golgi. Golgi. She's a yeah. good runner. So we got ant flies, maggots, cockroaches. This place is a five star buffet. Oh, no, she's a bug eater. Gross. Yeah, her and Scroig actually have a, a conversation in story, single player story mode. Or single player mode. I mean, there might be some conversations here too. No, because the it basically boosts the, it gives them boosted stats, but yeah, they have to survive like three or four three or four floors together. But it only works in single player. You want to give me like seventeen or eighteen food? All right. We should also start level up our guys. I'm already level four, which is yeah. what I need for uh, operate. So I'm a level five. I haven't got any extra skills. I'm still on my my one active. I got a passive, a fork and a knife. Oh, uh, you get a chance to get food, point five food every time you kill a creature. All right, and w my uh, my new hero has web slinger. Slows enemies down in the same room as her. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of like the neuro stun though, right? Yeah, it's, it's also kind of like my uh, floor-wide freeze. How's her attack? Let's check this out. Uh, she doesn't use weapons, but she uses tools. Okay. 
Oh yeah, it looks like there's a second tool here. DPS uh, is 49. That was the last door. Compared to my DPS, which is 65. More arbitrary numbers letting me know that one person's better than the other. Don't mind me, I'm just going tactical map and uh, lighting up rooms so you can grab the crystal. Yeah, no problem, man. You, you set me up, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of you. You and me against the world. Come on, buggy lady. Oh, man, she's creepy, man. Let have her carry the crystal. She's faster. Yeah, I'm going to. And also, that means I can defend her. Come on, crystal girl. So all of our, uh, all of our rooms are set up to go. Yep. I will miss you, little pug, little purple pug. You'll see him again. Oh, I hope so. You can't pause the game, by the way. No, not in multiplayer, at least. Yeah. So I, I was trying to pause the game and, like, preemptively uh, guide my character. But it didn't work. Let me know when she's up there. Oh, she's fast, dude. Yeah, I told you. She's a good runner. Uh, she's one of those four-legged people, too. Don't exit. All right, now we're good. You okay. control the exit. Whoever, whoever's oh, holding the crystal controls the exit. Okay. Good to know. Just making sure we don't kill each other. Nerd killed me once. He oh. left without me. Yeah, the without even, No reason. He was just like, oh, see ya. Killed three of our characters. None, needless to say, I stopped talking to him. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got some stats here on the side. Uh, That's... uh. Just how much we gained or how much we have? I think it's how much we gained. I think that's our gain, yeah. Yo, we opened 26 doors? Nice. Oh, we're on the lab floor. Ooh, 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 the lab floor. All right, which way are we going, left or down? Uh, you choose. Okay. <laughs> oh man, what a bad choice! Ew. Yo, dude. This is actually a nice that choke. Is an experiment gone wrong in the corner there. That's disgusting. All right, some food. We'll go straight. We're gonna be boring. We'll just go straight. You, you set us up there with those mini modules. I see you working. This oh, is what we got some more Kran science. Does. What's we Yo, got? I've always wanted to know about this emergency generator. Nope, not worth it. Not worth it ever. Because it's a major module, and every major module you have costs five more for the next major module. So you basically oh. end up burning resources just to power a room. Also, that would be targeted as a major module by creatures that target major modules. Okay, well, uh, I know what we're going to pick here, but I'm going to go through them. The autoerotic asphyxiation shard, number one. Auto what? The auto dock shards. Oh, okay. Uh, we have a prisoner prod three. Yes. I know. That's what I, I knew it. <laughs> You're going to go. And we have a viral injector one. Prisoner prod. Uh, what, what's the viral injector do? Uh, poison. Poison duration. Damage. Huh? Poison damage. All right. We'll we'll go with your prisoner prod. There you go. Have fun. What do we have so far? What is this guy? What, Who is this guy? Who's what guy? What is our mini modules? Yeah, you got a couple. I have two prods. Uh, the stun and the tear gas. Guy. Yeah. That could be either food, a hero, or nothing. Uh, it won't kill us though, right? No. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it, dude. I got plenty. It was food. Nice. I'm okay with food. We're gonna power this. Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold on to my food so I can get a character for myself to run around with. Oh, Hopefully. I thought uh, I thought we got a character, but no. No, Just you're another gonna, pug. You're controlling both the characters. Yes. I I wouldn't have been able to, but I thought there was a character here. Ooh, baby, we got a gas mask. Kitchen gloves. Kitchen gloves are good. Tool belt and photon decelerator. Uh, All for food, too. How much is the tool belt? The tool belt is 60 food. I can't use the tool belt. You might be able to, though. I'm at. Just in case. Oh, uh, can you see if you can drop the, the pick in there now? I will try my best. If not, I'm going to sell it. Pick is not moving, man. Oh, I got it. It moved. There we go. Yeah, dude. 
I don't know. I don't know what happened there. All right. Photon nice. D. I'm gonna buy some kitchen gloves though. Yeah, the kitchen gloves are really nice. I'm gonna get the tool belt for my character. So that's wit and you just bought the photon accelerator as well. You bought something and it moved it. God dang it. <laughs> Yo, dude, you had plenty of warning. Well, yeah, do you want do you want the photon? You do you want the photon for Gorgi? Oh, will she use it? Uh it's speed and it gives her scamper. Yeah, sure thing, bro. I'll take it. Uh, let me unequip it. Oh, unless you can't equip it, unless you want it. There you go. Oh, baby, look at that photon and decelerator. Now, you wouldn't happen to have enough food to make up for the cost of the for the tool belt. I Would actually you? only have 60 food in total. Well, somehow. I'll give you back 20. I just I just need that. How much food? Uh, for, I need I need 60 food to buy the uh Oh, okay, so you want me to give you 60 food? Yeah, you either give me 60 food for that, uh, or, uh... Okay. There we go. I'm- I'm poor in the grain department. But, what that's gonna do is gonna give us one additional food per ter- per ter- per- yeah, per room. Per turbidance? Yes. Okay. Per- per- per room- per- 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 per room. Can someone, like, dubstep remix that for me? <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Mm -mm -mm. So, I think we're gonna go down from here first. We'll clear out this whole section, because there's, like, three ways to go now. Yeah, there is. Look at this long room. Holy shit, that's a long hallway. Yeah, dude, I don't think I've ever seen a hall this hallway-ish. You know what I mean? You ever been to a room or a hall, and you're like, holy shit, this is a hall. This is a long hall to get to the end of this hall. Now it's gonna take me forever to haul my shit down this hall. <laughs> okay, Paul. <laughs> uh, all right, we got another science module. Here we go. You ready? Go for it. Science Creator Two. Mm, debatable. <sighs> Suppressive Firebot One, Tesla Module One, and a Neurostun Two. I believe. Neurostun Two. Yep. Yeah, man. You love the Neurostun. Also, the uh, other. Research note is free. Oh, it is? Oh, we can get another one? Yep. Alright, there there ain't nothing down here. Hey, we went the right way. Oh, yeah, holy holy cow, we haven't even encountered any enemies. Am I correct? Correct. No, nothing that I've noticed worthwhile. Okay, Industry Generator 2. Mm, maybe. Autoerotic Shard 1, Smoke Gun 1, and Pepper Spray 1. I think pepper spray. What do you think it? Pepper spray or the uh, uh, industry. You know, I'm kind of. I mean, we only need so many modules, right? You want? To, you don't really want to go past four. So you have the prods, I'm, the stun, dude, the tear gas. I'm thinking when we we can upgrade our industry too. Yeah. I need 10 more science, though. You need 10? I have yes. 10. Oh, yeah, just exactly 10, or what? Yep. Oh, my God. Okay, we're down to, like, no science, so we gotta we gotta work on that next time. All right, time. we're gonna explore a bit here, and we also have been doing it bad. And not laying, been laying down major modules. Yeah, dude, I've noticed we haven't been, uh, we haven't been min-maxing at all. I, I think we're... I'm stuck in the mindset of early game now, where we don't need to worry about it. I'm gonna throw down a module here. I got a, I got a resource mod, uh, industry over here already. So, so you have an industry and a food. A food. What do you want me to throw down? A science or a food? You can throw down a science for the extra assurance of uh, more science, but now it's up to you and your uh, your crazy spider lady to uh, explore the rest of this dungeon. Okay, I think. I think we're gonna want to put down another food. By the way, we're both kind of low on food. Now that Ye we've done our science, the science should take care of things. Uh, unless you have the industry to blow, it's not a good idea. Oh, uh, I have a crystal here. Uh, we're gonna spider web, bro. Double slow down. <laughs> yeah. 
Not not that it was completely necessary. I just wanted to make sure we lost no dust whatsoever. Oh yeah. So yeah. another a consequence of getting our major energy module uh, attacked is we lose dust, which in turn makes it so we have no ability to power the rooms and more enemies spawn. So it just kind of compounds on top of itself. I feel well, like we should. They won't actively spawn after one second. After like a second to two seconds, nothing else will spawn. It will have already spawned when it's going to spawn. Okay, but... But in future turns, yes, that means more spawns. Okay, we're starting to encounter enemies now, like... Big baddies, too! Oy. Get out of crystal, okay. crystal, crystal. Alright, I got it. Uh, can you... Do you have the ability to put down another food module? Uh... Or should it we wouldn't, wait? It wouldn't be prudent. Yeah. At this point, I think I just kind of went gung-ho on opening these doors. We wasted a few turns. That's fine. These things are relatively cheap to go with. To I'm mass gonna, produce. I'm going to drop this. We got a toothpick. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Another toothpick. Not that I'm too excited about it, but we might be able to sell it for some more resources. Hold on to, uh, especially if it's a higher... Well, what's the quality of it? Is it just a standard... Let's find out. It looks like a standard. What, what does a standard mean? If it's just the item with a gray background, it's a standard quality. If it's there's blue, oh, it's actually green. green. Green is better. Yeah, I have also have a green toothpick though. Well then, maybe give you the green toothpick. Yeah. Give me back my gray toothpick then, huh? Oh, whoops. <laughs> There you go. But yeah, you You're are welcome, sir. Thank you. I also did not equip my kitchen gloves until just now. Uh, god damn it. It's okay. I got it now. No, no, not that. Uh, where you killed those things, there's dust that only I can see. But if I leave this room, we're gonna lose our food bonus. How do you only see the dust? It's a perk that I have. Uh. I think it's a perk that I have. Yo, we're gonna lose it for what? One turn? Yeah. Go get the dust, man. You silly blumpkin. Dust is important. There you go. One. It was one dust? One dust. Yo, that might be the difference between powering a room and not. We'll find out. Well, three more three more dust points, but, but yeah. Yo. Sure. Yeah. Words. I'm feeling... My, my, my mind is filling the words right now. Hey, another dead end. Yo, oh, nothing. Hey, spawns. We got, we got enemies spotted, though. I'll fight them in the module room. I still feel like we should have put down some modules. We'll get smarter at this. Don't worry about it. You also have, like, two of the fastest attackers in the game. Yeah, I like that. Speed and agility is my game. Which means, ideally, things will generally die before you take too much damage. Yeah. Actually, the spot where we put down all the modules, I don't know if you preemptively thought this, but it's a great choke point. That's exactly that, that yeah. To open. You generally want to try to not have your choke point so close to the crystal, but if it's your only choice, then you go for it. I'm taking a lot. Oh, damage, dude. Here, let me slow them down for you. Holy shit, dude! I must interfere! Yeah, dude, unfortunately, you're gonna have to come help. I mean, my health is fine now, but I had to waste some food on it. Oh, so disappointing. All that right. That is a. Yo, plus five from plus eight? That is a real hit, man. Yep, that's why I went and got the tool belt. What does the tool belt do again? Plus three to wit and gives me the skill to repair. So if these things get damaged, I can actually fix them. Okay, don't leave your spot. We should put down some more mini modules though, please. Some prods. Dropping a tear gas and another prod. Oh god, we should have done that earlier. All right, now all we have is those like crystals. We're fine. So, what is it? A time limit for how much, how long enemies can spawn, and then that's going to be the max amount of enemies. Yeah, that spawn? it's like a second. There's still to guys second roaming around. 
It's about oh, a second no, to a se yeah. It's about a second to a second and a half of the spawn window. Oh, okay. I never actually knew that. Yo, we got like a weird uh, cog machine over here. Plus ten industry. Frick yeah, man. Alrighty. Now we're. I think in a... we've explored everything, by the way. Oh wait. Uh, open that door real quick for me. Why? Because nothing. If you have a uh, two sides of a door explored, nothing will spawn. And it's a, and basically opening that door, we are guaranteed zero spawns, and we'll get the bonus tick for uh, the for everything that we get for for a turn. So go ahead and open that door to your left. Okay, but not the next one. No, that was the last door. What? There's a door right here, man. You've already opened. Okay. Yeah, you've already opened that door. Oh, I have. All right. It looks like cl it looks closed. Sorry, sir. I always leave. Uh, that's interesting, cause if I uh, if Hold I on. left that one door there in a single player playthrough, I would actually leave it shut so that all the monsters would have to go around that room. Doesn't work that way, cause when you act when you grab the crystal, it opens all unopen doors. Okay, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I mean you slow them down a little bit, but that's it. Let me know when you're ready to run, cause I'm ready to go. Oh man, we could actually do do the uh, one minute achievement here. What do you mean, one minute? If you stay uh, for one minute before exiting, you get a achievement called Elevator Song. Oh, really? Yep. I don't think it's going to take a minute. I mean, I could I could have her sit here and not... It's up to you if you want to do it or not. Yo, dude, a little achievement in every now and again is uh, good for the hearty soul, in my opinion. You can just stay in the elevator room and just not hit the exit button. Oh, okay. Let's get in there then. I don't want to. I don't want to die. They're dying before they even get to us. Oh my god! This is fantastic. Achievement time. I don't. I just start really timing it so whenever you think a minute's best. Oh, we have to wait. Shit. Yeah, you actually have to wait and uh, leave after a minute mark. Oh my goodness! I thought it would just give it to us and then we could leave. Oh boy, um... Look at all that death, though. All that death yeah, that's dude. happening without us. Yo, does it just never stop spawning? Yep, they never stop spawning. Oh boy, alright, we're gonna go, we're gonna see. Floor is cleared. Aw, oh, yeah! Can't wait for you to get a character so you can start moving around as well. But Krayang is cool. Which floor is this for? Alright, we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Arakata, for helping me out. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and a comment to help us out. It does a great job. If you can want to hang out with us on Twitch, it's RNG underscore Superfox and Arakata, respectively. All right, everybody, have a good one. See ya.